Hello and welcome to a quick walkthrough of an early prototype of a Metroidvania style 2D platformer uh, produced by myself, Samad, Rosie and Taha. It goes by the name The Passing and it's set in um, the underworld where the player plays as a recently deceased spirit who's become trapped there and must um, traverse the, uh, the level to make their way out. So I'll give you a quick look at the menu here. Here we have the options um, menu. Uh, it shows you the controls here, so A and D for the left and right movement, K and L for K for attack and L for block, shift for roll, G for push and pull movement, and space bar for jump. And here you also have a volume control where you can adjust the sound level. So I'll show you the game itself. So here we have the first level, and these things you see right in front of you are the souls that are collectibles and they collected using the um, lantern of souls which you see is illuminating around the player you may have noticed the trail behind the player that effect has been used to show that the uh, the player is a spirit there's a number of different platforms and level changes in the first level the player must also be wary of certain obstacles such as spikes. For example, you see uh, I just took damage from a spike there and respawned at a respawn point. I'll give you an example now of the push and pull mechanic. As you can see, the player can push the box over the edge and use it to elevate themselves to get to these souls. There's also a number of other pickups such as health pickups as you can see in the inventory we have an inventory system and that's where the player stores items such as health potions and food and various other items. As you can see the player is now moving on to the next level. This is level 2. For this level we have more of a jungle aesthetic and there's, it's a, it becomes a little bit more challenging for the player as there's new more difficult obstacles such as moving platforms such as this. The player has to time their jump. Now see if the player hits that vine the poisonous vine, they'll die. Also another obstacle here. It's just like a, a flame that can kill the player. We also have fire pits. If the player falls in, they'll have to respawn at the checkpoint. As you can see, there's various uh, ways to approach the level. I've chosen to go along the ground but you can also jump from platform to platform instead which can be a little bit more challenging. See I hit the spikes there and I was forced to respawn. And now this is the uh, another moving platform. In this section, the um, the player's got to use the, the precise jumping to go from pillar to pillar, not to fall, hope, trying not to fall into the spike trap. And this brings them to the end of the level. And there you go.